Good morning, everybody. My name is Tom Hansen. I'm the Staff Sergeant of the Calgary Police Service Drug Unit. Uh, the drug unit has charged two people in connection with a large marijuana seizure. Working off a tip earlier this year, we initiated an investigation which led to a major arrest and seizure late last week. During the course of the investigation, it was determined a large quantity of processed marijuana was being transported from British Columbia to Alberta. Last Thursday, officers conducted a traffic stop on two vehicles in a northwest Calgary parking lot. Two people, a man and a woman, were taken into custody and roughly 120 pounds of marijuana was seized from the vehicles. The drugs were contained in dozens of heat sealed packages and then stashed in uh, dark black colored uh, garbage bags. The approximate street value of the drugs is $535,000. Sandra Pearl Delpe, 61 years, of Chestermere is charged with trafficking cannabis marijuana and possession for the purpose of trafficking. Douglas Paul Hernu, 51 of Calgary, is charged with possession for the purpose of trafficking. And that's it. Can you tell us about how you guys came across this? It was a result of a tip. So our investigators uh, uh, started their investigation and uh, it led to the seizure ultimately. Uh, so this, this marijuana was brought from, you guys were led brought from British Columbia to? That's or, correct. Was the tip originating in Alberta or in British Columbia? It, I can't speak to that. These people that, that are charged, are, are they known to you? Is it in? They weren't known to us prior to Thursday prior to the investigation being initiated. Does that concern you at all in such a large volume, people that you're not aware of? You know what I mean? Well, we can't know everything, and uh, it is certainly uh, uh, a significant seizure, but the, uh, ultimately uh, it was a tip that, uh, that led us to these individuals, and uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, the other people that are maybe conducting themselves illegally will uh, ultimately be running, running the risk of of having tips uh, uh, passed on to the police about them as well. Was this linked to gangs? Or? Significant seizures of marijuana on uh, any kind of a drug is ultimately going to be linked to organized crime, you bet. So is this linked to organized crime here? It is linked to organized crime at some point in the, in the, in the process, for sure. Are these people linked to organized crime? Not that we can uh, uh, link at this point, no. Uh, I will say that they came, uh, the drugs came from British Columbia. That was originating from, was it grow up, was it passed through somewhere else? All marijuana comes from a grow up. Whoa. But uh, it, it, it was likely, with this amount of marijuana, it was likely from s several uh, grow operations. So now, um, are you guys seeing more and more marijuana kind of moving east uh, with you know, Washington State has, has changed their laws? You know, that, uh, that legislation that uh, legalized the marijuana down in the States um, is fairly new, uh, so I don't think we're going to see the, the repercussions of, of what's going on down there, at least something in, in numbers that we can actually concretely attribute to, to what's going on in the States uh, at this point. This is a significant seizure. Uh, in recent memory, I can't recall uh, a seizure of this size of processed marijuana in Calgary, uh, but it is, uh, in any location, this is, would be a, considered a significant seizure. So these two, are they still in custody? Or are they as far as I know that they've been released and are pending uh, their first appearance. And was it cooperation with the SNP as well? Uh, it was a Calgary Police Service investigation. They were uh, arrested in a northwest Calgary parking lot at a commercial location. Which vehicle was that location? Uh, it was just at, uh, in the vicinity of uh, Sarcy Trail and Stony Trail, a commercial parking lot in that area. Can you tell us what they were doing there? They were exchanging marijuana. So uh, a portion of the marijuana that was uh, in possession of one individual was being passed over to the other individual at the time that they were arrested. So one person brought it from BC? That's correct. A portion of it, not all of it. Then, and the rest of it was already here? Or? It was all in one, contained in one vehicle initially, and par portion of that uh, uh, marijuana was being uh, transferred from one vehicle into another when the arrests were made. So it was probably already dropped off as well? Uh, that, was, that would be a reasonable assumption. Uh, that wasn't what we had encountered at that point, though. So are these two people known to each other? 
they, I'm sure they had to have been, yes. So there wasn't like, I mean, I won't say they were engaging with each other, but I mean, it was just a one-off deal, or was it something that you said was going on for a period of time? That would be speculation on, on our part, for sure. Uh, the only thing uh, I'll say about that is that it was earlier this year. <clears throat> you guys have any stats about trip, trips from the public that lead to student bookings? I, I don't have any specific stats. Um, I will say that uh, tips from the public are, are very important to the police. Uh, we, we rely on them uh, for the starting point of many of our investigations. And uh, ultimately, they do end up in charges in many cases and uh, of various uh, quantities and of, of drugs. But uh, in this case, it was, was, a, was a very substantial tip. Can you actually just talk about, I mean, the, the ages of the people involved seem to be a little higher than what we normally see. Right. Can you kind of speak to that? Or what's your opinion? Uh, it is a question that we have, and uh, we're looking forward to the explanation for that coming out in the courts on the, during the course of the, uh, of the trial. I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.